Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mike with SmartOptionTrading.com. You could also catch me at Options Mike on Twitter. Happy Tuesday, the 13th of April, guys. We have a lot going on in this market, so let's start talking about it. First off, I'm going to pull up a chart of the S&P 500. We have just taken a hit to this market, uh, pre-market. It's not showing you this chart yet. News out that J&J's vaccine has been paused in the United States. So this is going to cause some angst around the world. Uh, we're looking at roughly six cases out of five million other doses administered, but we're getting blood, blood clots like the AstraZeneca one. So we'll see how this affects everything. This was a big part of the United States reopening plan. We'll see how this goes. Also, we have uh, CPI data today. That is Consumer Inflation Index. We're going to have to see uh, how that comes out. Market has been really worried about inflation. So we want to see how we do it as the SPY is sitting here at all-time highs. And that's important to realize here. The SPY has now run back to all-time highs. This is not the time to really be looking to put a lot of new money to work, taking some profits here a little bit better, being a little bit more picky about where you put your money. RSI, you'll notice in this chart, is getting hot since 70. The last time I did this was back in August. You see without very hot, and then that was the only real type of pullback we've had in this market since last March. So right now, this market this hot, or going into earnings season that starts tomorrow with the banks, I'm a little leery about what's going on. Let's switch gears here over to the queues. Tech has lagged this market. We were unable to make a new high while the S&P 500 and the, and the Dow Jones Industrials did. So does this mean it's the end of the world? No, it just means that tech is still lagging. We've had big winners, Google, Facebook, Microsoft, NVIDIA, you know, all names we've talked about here for, for a while with you guys have all gone on and made new all-time highs or are real close to it in the case of NVIDIA yesterday. Uh, this is the one area that if they want to rotate into, they can still go into. There's still a lot of upside left in tech if they decide they want to come back into this. But today I want to talk to you really about the banks. because The banks are going to set the tone for what's going on right now. So let's start off with the XLF. The XLF is the ETF that tracks the banks and the financials. Earnings start tomorrow. Within the next three days, we get the five major banks reported. They're going to set the tone for what's going on. What you need to re realize is here is the XLF has run to all-time highs. This is going back over 20 years. We finally took back all the weakness from 2008, put a new all-time high in. You can look at this chart from November. The financials have been on a tear. It's going to take a lot to move the needle up here. So how the banks react is going to tell us a lot about this market and what this market thinks about uh, you know, whether we're going to go higher or lower. The banks are a big, big component of it. And the one bank you want to watch specifically tomorrow, in my opinion, is J.P. Morgan. J.P. Morgan is best in breed. They're always out there. They're always out front. Jamie Dimon is always very upfront talking about how he feels about the market, where he sees things going, what he thinks should be done. So how J.P. Morgan reacts here, just off all-time highs that I put in about a month ago, will tell us everything you need to know about the banks. If it holds up and it holds here above the 150 area, it's very strong. There's nothing to see here. If it goes up, it tells you the banks are extremely strong. If it pulls hard and we drop below the 150 and then the 148 area, that would tell us that the banks have run too far and that the market's concerned about their ability to move forward. So keeping it short and simple here today, Marx has run a lot. Be very careful with your entrances here. Uh, look for tech maybe to get some rotation, especially if we get a little bit weaker inflation number, that would be great for it. And I'll catch you guys next week. Have a great week.